The Bryce Tower in Bartlesville is an architectural gem, an emerald one at that. I think the idea that when you come here, you really kind of almost step back into the architecture and the time of the 1950s. Frank Lloyd Wright designed the building in the 1920s, not originally for Oklahoma. They were three different buildings that were going to be around the St. Mark's Church in New York City. The depression hit, plans were canceled. Then in 1952, Wright got a call from Harold C. Price, owner of an oil pipeline company in Bartlesville. After some adjustments to the design, construction started in 53, the tower opened in 56, and it hasn't changed a whole lot since then. The people who have you know, lived out the history of this building since then have done an amazing job of keeping that history and the elements to the building that really are Frank Lloyd Wright. Some of those original elements include furniture Wright designed specifically for Price Tower. You can see it and more in a free museum on the second floor. So it's really quite an experience for any mid-century lover to come see the wonderful designs that Mr. Wright did then. Wright called Price Tower the tree that escaped the forest. In fact, the structure really resembles a tree and branches. All of the floors are cantilever design. They're basically floating, supported by the center elevator shafts. Here in the museum, you can see one of the original pieces of copper. Now, while that's shiny and the building is green, it has always been that way from day one. That's because Frank Lloyd Wright didn't want to wait around for the patina. Mr. Wright, knowing that was a tree that escaped the crowded forest, shiny copper leaves would never do. The copper was chemically treated, turning it the green color we still see today. A special treatment for a special building. Wright considered it his only skyscraper. Mr. Wright said in order to be a skyscraper, you had to have commercial, residential, and retail. That's what was in the building then and what's in it today. We have 19 hotel rooms for residential. We have four floors of office space, and we have our gift shop for retail. While no one lives here full time anymore, you can stay here anytime. The hotel rooms have that same swanky 50s feel. Some are one story, others two. The downstairs has a living room, kind of a dining area, has a kitchen, a half bath, and then interior stairs within the suite that go upstairs to the bedroom to a full bath. On the 15th and 16th floors, an old Price employee dining room is now the Copper Restaurant and Bar with amazing views and fantastic new American cuisine. Here you go, Rick. It's nice and flat. Right now. You can also eat outside on the new plaza where there's several styles of burgers, sandwiches, and salads. After lunch, visit the two-story art gallery filled with local art and more. We bring in uh, different exhibits that uh, are traveling throughout the country. A guided tour takes you to see Mr. Price's private penthouse office and his corporate apartment, used by he and his wife, complete with original furniture. Recently added to the tour, the apartment of well-known architect, Ruskov. Before moving into Price Tower, he was teaching architecture at OU. Both Mr. Price's sons were attending OU. And Mr. Price asked his son, Joe, would you ask Mr. Goff if he would design the building for me? Goff, who was a huge fan of Frank Lloyd Wright, suggested he be the one to design the Price Tower all those years ago. And I know that's the question most people ask. How did the Frank Lloyd Wright skyscraper end up in a little town in Oklahoma? And that's why. It is a work of architectural art we still enjoy today. In downtown Bartlesville, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma.